Welcome to this video on custom geocoding. This video builds on the concepts in the Expanding Tableau's Mapping Capabilities video. You can download the exercise workbook and additional files to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. There are three main types of custom geocoding. Extending an existing role, adding new roles to an existing hierarchy, or adding new hierarchies. Regardless of the type of custom geocoding, the CSV import file must be created very carefully. It must have consistent spelling, capitalization, and column names. For example, latitude and longitude must be spelled out fully and be capitalized. Extending an existing role would be the option for adding towns that Tableau doesn't automatically recognize. Here's a CSV file, which adds in some small towns from my home state of Florida. I have to indicate every level of the hierarchy above the cities, so state and country, then provide the latitude and longitude for these new cities. Because all three levels of the hierarchy are existing roles already in Tableau, I have to name my columns exactly as Tableau knows these roles. The online help has a table with the column names to include. Adding new roles creates new levels within an existing hierarchy, such as adding Bank of China branch locations under the level of country. If we also had both city and state information, we could nest branch under the city level. However, if for example we don't have state information, we can't simply go country, city, because that's not an existing hierarchy. To add a new role to the existing hierarchy, I have country, then branch, then the latitude and longitude. Once this is brought into Tableau, branch will show up as an entirely new geographic role. Adding new hierarchies would be useful for situations such as mapping custom sales regions, covering theater and region. These are not existing roles, so it's a brand new hierarchy. To create this, we need to make a CSV file for each level of the hierarchy. Because we could individually map at any level, we need latitude and longitude coordinates for each level. If we look down at region at the bottom, we see that it contains all the levels above it, so Tableau knows precisely where each piece goes. Make sure to save all the CSV files for the various levels of the hierarchy in a single folder. To bring in multiple custom geocoding files simultaneously, it's necessary to save all custom geocoding CSVs in the same folder. Let's import those two CSVs we were just looking at. Go to the Map menu, Geocoding, Import Custom Geocoding. The folder can contain as many CSV files as necessary, but the entire folder will always be imported as a single entity, and if a workbook is packaged, all custom geocoding data will be bundled with the packaged file. Packaged workbooks that contain custom geocoding can have their custom geocoding imported into the local repository, but that will replace any existing custom geocoding on that system. To import the custom geocoding from a packaged workbook, we'd select Import from the current workbook. But we'll just import from the folder. This may take some time, so I'm going to pause the video. To use custom geocoding, the dataset simply has to have the same field that's been added to the custom geocoding. Here we have Florida small towns, and the end user interacts with these fields as if they were any other automatically recognized geographic role. We'll double click city and add description to label. These towns are too small for Tableau to have recognized without that custom geocoding information. Thank you for watching this custom geocoding training video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos